I am Alexei Ratmansky and I'm doing a new piece for ABT for um, Avery Fisher Hall and this is the first time that uh, the company is going to perform there. This is very exciting I think because the, the space is not designed for dance uh, but it's designed for the music. After doing a story ballet in, uh, for in a mad season, uh, it was uh, on the Dnieper by Prokofiev. I thought it would be nice to take a more abstract piece and have a small cast. And I think the space actually uh, wants a small cast. It's a chamber, uh, chamber more, uh, sort of feeling there. Six dancers, and you can really work on individual qualities of the dancers. While with a group, um, of course you have a solace, but with a quarter ballet, you would probably go in getting one uh, sort of feeling from their movements, you know. And here with six dancers, I think it's a real chance for me to get to know uh, them better and work individually. You know. The process is like trying to sense the shape uh, which the belly will take and it's very possible that it, next Monday it will go in a very different direction. So this time around I'm not having the um, very secure plan before I start. You know, I, I listen to the music and try to sense the right direction. That's, that's, that's the process. I took the music of um, Domenico Scarlatti, this Italian composer who lived a big part of his life in Spain, um, teaching and writing sonatas for the Queen of Spain to perform. It's a great music, very, very innovative for its time, I think. Uh, very well structured. So, um, it's, it's really amazing that he wrote uh, all of the sonatas, or most of it, for one person, for this uh, Portugal princess, who later became uh, Queen of Spain. So it really feels like a conversation between two highly educated, sophisticated and extremely talented, musically talented people. It really feels like a dialogue. Regardless how many, uh, how many ballets we've done, and I think uh, I counted the other day, it's like more than 40 ballets. But regardless of the number, every time you go to the studio, you make it, you feel that it's a blank, uh, blank uh, page. And uh, of course, you try to, to be different every time. And I didn't want to uh, this ballad to be uh, to have literal stories. Of course, there are some changes of mood and some underlying stories. And as Palachin said, when you have men and women on stage, it's already a story. <laughs> When you have three uh, world premieres, it's such a risk. It's very, very uh, 
a daring, daring problem, I think. Uh, but um, it really uh, it comes with a lot of expectations also, and um, it's question mark whether all three works will be matching each other or will be contrasting enough. Um, so this this will see at the premiere, maybe in the general rehearsal. Um, but I think it's. Um, it's what the company has to do uh, from time to time because it's very, it's very good for the atmosphere. It's a uh, creative time now in every studio. Something is something new is uh, uh, being born. Yeah, right. Okay. So I know I know it's tiring for the dancers because, uh, especially at the beginning. It's hard to start after the summer break also, but it's probably something that they're gonna uh, look back and you know remember as a good, nice, creative time. Three, two, one.